I was a um, a Cub Scout growing up. I did not cross over into a troop, um, but I was a Cub Scout through um, Weevilos, so I was involved. And then when my oldest son, who turns 18 at the end of this month, um, he wanted to – he showed interest in getting involved in scouting. And so I started uh, taking him to the meetings, and I kind of figured, well, if I'm – if I'm going to be there week in and week out, the least I can do is help and volunteer my time, and it just kind of took off from there. So uh, just kind of helping out as, as he joined into the program and have been in, involved since. I was honored and humbled, but honestly a little bit embarrassed, I guess, is, is, is a way to put it, um, or maybe felt a little bit unworthy because I know a lot of people who have earned the award over over the years and – um, if you're in the program for the right reasons, you're not in it for the recognition. Uh, you're in it for the youth. So to get that honor, I mean, I, I, was, I, I felt honored that somebody felt that uh, my contributions were important enough. Um, but I just kind of, having known a lot of these people, I just kind of felt unworthy about it. So it was, it was a little, it was a little, uh, it was a little weird feeling, but uh, much, I mean, definitely honored. So what I've said for many years, having been involved at, at different levels, both as a Cub Scout leader and, a, and a, a troop leader and things like that, is that we I don't believe that we have a lack of youth that want to take part in this program. We have a lack of adults who are willing to volunteer their time. So I, I just want to encourage people to um, – volunteer their time, uh, continue to volunteer their time, because right now, I think more than ever in our country, we need a program like the scouting program um, to keep our, our country strong and, and raise our youth to appreciate uh, the freedoms and values that we have as a country.